The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episode 10, Thoughts, this episode called Identity Crisis. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to including this episode. And the show is rated TVPG somehow. So will this video be? Let's dive right in. So I love this sort of episode where they do a story and don't include any of the main characters. Like there's a couple of major characters here, but none of the, you know, the titular Bad Batch are nowhere to be seen. And it really allows us to focus on Emery's situation and how she is really struggling with the work that they're doing and I uh, let's see yeah um the episode features kids in cages extremely relevant right now something Trump did and sadly Biden is still doing I do think you should vote for Biden I think it's extremely important that Trump not get the chance to turn America into a fascist dictatorship. But with that said, yeah. Um, so I really appreciate you know how much this episode is devoted to making us care about these children. And really, like, just devastating to see the, the little baby. You know, yeah, it's, you know... It gets upset about the the like the doll or something, so it you know throws it, it uses the force to to throw this thing, and you know the guy calls in a tip. And Cad Bane shows up. Very cool to see him again. Um, you know there had been theories. I'm not sure if we got like the the. Um, what's the word? The, the, um, what is the word? Uh, I'm not sure it had been confirmed yet that he was going to show up. You know, some, some people had guessed that he would be the one you know, rather, it, it turned out instead to be the, um, terrible with names sometimes, um, turned out to be Asajj Ventress. Um, I think that, oh, right, uh, yeah, I, and, and very cool for Governor Tarkin to show up again, and, you know, he's kind of on... Hemlock's case, like, you know, Hemlock is like, you're gonna love it, don't worry, it's gonna be amazing for the cause, and Tarkin is like, this isn't gonna be how Palpatine returned, is it? Because I'm going to be very cross with you, and, right, I, I really appreciate, you know, Emery is, you know, yeah, she meets a kid, so she's like, you know, what's your, you know, the, trying to relate to it, you know, very, very, you know, very common, very normal response to meeting a kid, and Hemlock is like, no, 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 they're, they're a test subject, you know, that's what they're, yeah, um, and let's see, then we have the, um, um Right, the, the, yeah, um, when Cad Bane, you know, takes the, the little baby and, you know, Toto has to try to calm it back down and, you know, gets it back, the little doll, and, again, just, just devastating, to, you know, yeah. Um, and, and that one kid who tries to make a run for it and, you know, yeah, ends up being punished with, was it two rotations of isolation? Just, you know, of course they want to get away from there. And, and also, you know, the the kid asked Nala Say, and she said she would try to find out. And this is, you know, perhaps one of the things that got Nala Say to eventually go against the Empire. Uh, you know, when, when can they go home? They just want to 
be able to go home, these kids. And I think that might be about what I have to say. I, I really appreciate that, like, you know, by the end of the episode, Emery hasn't, you know, really taken efforts to go against the Empire, but, like, we can see that she's, like, thinking about, you know, she, yeah, she feels like, the, like, you know, she points out this, you know, this is basically a toddler, and, and you know, the answer is like, well, yeah, it's going to be easier to control like this, you know, and, and also, you know, Hemlock notes, you know, it's it's difficult to find, you know, adults with, with a high M count. You know, he doesn't go on to say, you know, because of the genocide we committed against them, but the, you know, yeah, um... And and you know he's like oh they're, you know, they're easier the younger the better they're they're easier to control they don't really understand what's going on and you know the fact that like one of the one of the um, commando units one one of the soldiers you know actually fires I mean it's it's stunned but it's still you know he shot a kid you know which again. Sadly, very relevant. Not enough being done about gun control. And the... Yeah, just... You know, I, I really love when Star Wars gets this... effing current day. And really confronts major problems that we're dealing with right now that need serious political action. We need more gun control and we need you know and you know the Democrats did actually try to to they they had a bill for immigration and the Republicans were like, well then what are we gonna run on? So yeah. Uh let's see. And the the next episode is already up, so I'm gonna go do that one right now, although I think I think by the time you watch any of these videos, it's going to look like they all dropped at the same time anyway.